For the 12th night in a row, a coast-to-coast -coast call to action, turning violent in Portland, Oregon, where police clash with protesters well into the night. Waves of peaceful protests marched on bigger than ever before. No more silence. No justice. No peace. From Washington's newly named Black Lives Matter Plaza to San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. Kana Whitworth is in Portland with the very latest. Kana, good morning. Wick, good morning. The protest last night marked 53 straight nights of protest here in Portland. Kamala, as you all know, is smart, she's tough, she's experienced, she's a proven fighter for the backbone of this country. She's ready to do this job on day one. After the most competitive primary in history, the country received a resounding message that Joe was the person to lead us forward. And Joe, I'm so proud to stand with you. I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that we're going to have to use a medical doctor. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. America's birthday, a celebration largely stripped of fireworks, speeches, and large gatherings. I've seen it very low pace. I've never seen it like this before. It's very, very, almost kind of like a ghost town. Tonight, Florida recording an astonishing 11,400 cases, smashing its single day high, and once again leading the nation. This really has to be brought under control, and it hasn't. destructive fire nature that we're seeing over the last 72 hours in our history.